This is Joe Daddy Stevenson, and you're watching Sun TV. We're here for UFC 95. How's training been for you? Obviously, in the main event, uh, uh, second second main event. Within training the space of about has been a year. great. Um, this camp has probably been one of the best camps I've ever had coming into a fight. Injury free, spirits up, nothing going on in the personal life to distract me. Um, I, I think I'm, I probably had the best preparation that I've ever had. It's, it's all equal to uh, coming up on Saturday and whooping some butt. How are you feeling facing Diego? He's obviously dropping down a weight. Um, is that of a concern to you? Uh, no, I think Diego's a tough fight for anyone at any weight class. I think that um, he's, he's uh, got a lot of skill and talent. However, I don't think I should have been his first pick at 155. And, I'm going to welcome him to the weight class the best way I know. Is there any sort of history between you two? Do, do, do you think there's a reason he's actually targeted you at this weight? No, I, I don't think there's a reason at all. Um, I think that it's just, you know, he won season one and I won season two and the fans want to see it. And the UFC is about the fans and that's why everyone loves the UFC and that's why it's happening. Absolutely. Are you feeling any extra pressure going into this? Obviously it's a main event fight, you're one and two. Um, in your last three fights? No, uh, I don't feel any pressure coming into this fight. I think that, uh, you know, I don't take easy fights. I mean, just like you said, one and two in the last, there's BJ Penn and Kenny Florian and Gleason Tabao who just destroyed Rich Clemente. I mean, those are th three tough opponents. And prior to that, Kurt Pellegrino, uh, Melvin Gillard and Mishima and Eves Edwards, I mean, those are all like top-rated fighters, so I, I don't feel any extra pressure. Diego Sanchez is Diego Sanchez, and I'm going to show him that I'm Joe Stevenson. We've seen quite a bit of you over here, the UK fans. You've got quite a bit of support, obviously from the Newcastle show, UFC 80, when you went up against very gutsy performance against BJ, just got you know edged on the night. Um, for for kind of new fans uh, to the sport over here, it's still growing. What can you tell us about Diego? What can we expect to see from him? He's an exciting fighter. He likes to push the pace. He's very aggressive. Um, you can expect to see his hands and kicking. And when, when he gets in trouble on his feet, he has the ability to take it to the ground. He'll probably shooting and trying to stay on top. Um, he likes to create scramble situations to, uh, to get on top. And I've, I've learned that in this camp, you know, I've taken a lot of my time to uh, try to control those situations.